Our next speaker uh, is actually quite world famous, so I don't think I need to introduce her. Uh, she has so many accolades and so many honors. Uh, and she has, I must say, put Ethiopia on the map uh, through her hard work and uh, unique entrepreneurship. I would say that she's a model for young entrepreneurs, not only in Ethiopia, but also in Africa and across the world. So she's Bethlehem Tlahun, is a founder and managing director of Soul Rebels. Uh, as I said, a famous company, it has a lot of things. It's the first fair trade certified footwear company in the world. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the fair trade process, you can uh, imagine how rigorous it is and how much work she must have done uh, uh, to achieve this. Of course, she has several stores around the world and she's expanding uh, in a very uh, aggressive way in the coming few years. Uh, I'm sure what she has done we cannot cover in a short uh, session like this one, but uh, we'd be happy to hear from her and share some of her experience. I think she's a really an inspiration uh, for our uh, domestic uh, entrepreneurs. Italy. Thank you for the generous um, introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, today, I am not going to be talking about soul robots, even if I love to. Uh, I'm going to be introducing a new initiative that I'm leading uh, starting from last February this year. Um, so it's my great pleasure to be here today with all of you. I was in footwear business for the last 12 years. Throughout this journey, I learned a lot about marketing, branding, and other things. Um, so I want to talk about the Made by Ethiopia project that we put together uh, with Ministry of Industry and uh, with LIDI. And at the same time, we have partners like EP and uh, the association also. So MB is a project run by uh, my office and Ethiopia laser industry development sector. His Excellency Ato Tadesa is a big supporter of this project. The project was launched in Las Vegas, August 2016 in Magic Show of Sourcing. Since we have been working with the footwear retailers and distributors of America to bring in their member companies, uh, who are big brands and buyers to Ethiopia. Just last week, we had a big summit with 10 big buyers who have a potential to source their footwear from Ethiopia. It was a success for us. As TPP is the age of cancellation to Asian manufacturers, labor is becoming very expensive in China and Asia. Social compliance issue is hitting Asian manufacturers. So it feels like this is time for Ethiopian footwear. It feels right, right? The time is right. And what's happening in Asia is an opportunity for us to bring in those big buyers to show what we are capable of. So we just did that last week. For this and other reasons, Ethiopia will be the next preferable, uh, preferable source of manufacturing hub for these big brands. The challenge that we see after the visit of these big brands, there are no enough local companies who have a capacity to serve these big brands. That's a big challenge, right? But this is big opportunity for investors to come in to invest in this specific uh, industry. Also, we are open. Uh, Made by Ethiopia is working with 12 local factories to expand their market to the U.S. and then also to expand their you know, capacity to the international market. So we are all, 12 of us, are welcoming any kind of investors who are interested to join with us to take our companies to the, the next level to be able to service these big brands. So it's uh, an open invitation for everybody who wants to involve with us. The other challenge that we see after the visit is we do not have a world-class um, product development center. This is another level where people want to come and build their brands here with us. That's going to be a challenge. So the private sector probably moving forward to uh, compensate this, the 
to, to give an opportunity for these brands to come in to work with us. When these brands come, they don't come with one specific order. They are looking for a long-term relationship to have a factory that they call a partner. So it's not one-time work, one-time job, or 20,000 pairs, 5,000 pairs in somebody's back pocket. It's real business, and it's real relationship and for sustainable outcome for everybody in this industry. And the other big issue that I see through this journey is that the supply chain issue. And also, well, we're business people, we see the problem, we try to solve it, that's gonna be our business model. So if there is anybody who wants to invest in this specific brand um, or industry, because we don't have uh, a way to bring in our supply from different places. So to work on this is another big opportunity as a private sector. I would love to join this venture also with anybody who wants to involve. So the outcome of this project is, it's a five years project, the outcome is to put Ethiopia in fourth place for footwear importer in America. It seems like it's not gonna be possible, right? But we're working on it, we have all the numbers, we bring in the buyers here. So I would like to welcome everybody who are interested to invest in our uh, industry to see the results with us. And I also invite development partners, uh, it, financial institutions, investors, and community members at the same time, uh, government policy makers to join us to achieve this goal. Thank you very much.